Hello everyone, Tyler here with Projects in Metal and I wanted to announce something that I find pretty exciting and that is the fact that projectsinmetal.com has a completely new look. So this has been a long time coming. I launched Projects in Metal back in 2008 over the Christmas holiday uh, and the website went live January of 2009. So it's been about five years and the site hasn't had any significant upgrades other than security updates and um, feature updates. And so the theme, the original theme, the original look and feel of Projects in Metal was pretty, pretty dated, pretty old, um, and pretty boring. And it was also really slow and clunky. So as much as I hate change, and I know that most of you probably hate change as well, um, an upgrade was really, really necessary. And so I wanted to take this time to uh, make a quick video and walk you guys through the, the new layout so that you guys know how to find everything. It's mostly the same, um, but there are a few changes and a few enhancements that I wanted to make sure that you were aware of. So the first thing is, this is the home page. There, you'll notice that there is a slider here on the home page. And if you hover over the image slider, uh, the image will stop moving. So if you wanted to read something uh, on the home page, you just hover over it with your mouse and that'll give you time to read the caption. And then as you remove your mouse from the uh, image, it will start to uh, slide again. And the purpose of this image slider is to take the place of my old what's new section on the website. So there used to be the section that, that um, basically had any new posts so that you could go to the site and quickly at the very top see what had potentially changed since the last time you visited. So uh, that's what this is for. It, it, it pulls new content from any category, whether it be lathe projects, mill projects, um, you know, shop tips, whatever, it'll, it'll pull it in. Uh, I do need a new logo, so if anyone out there is a logo designer, I would be definitely interested in a, a new logo, because right now the, the the website just has the Projects of Metal text and no logo. Uh, I'm thinking something like uh, turning uh, the P into a uh, micrometer, um, and my favorite micrometer is the Edelon Micro Rapid micrometers of days of old that actually look like a nice rounded P. Um, but anyway, uh, if anyone's a logo designer, get in touch. And there is a contact us section right here that doesn't work yet, so uh, you'll have to get in touch through the forum. But anyway, here's here's the new layout. Um, the main navigation is right here, and you'll see that all the projects are listed under a Metalworking Projects tab. Now if you click on the Metalworking Projects tab, nothing happens. You actually have to click on lathe, mill, shop tips, engines, or miscellaneous to go to the categories associated with those specific metalworking topics. There's also the books section and the video section. Those are the, still the same as what they used to be. So if I click on videos, this will actually show you, um, this is kind of the layout that the website used to have with these little icons, or these little images rather, um, that when you clicked on those, it would take you to the actual posts. So I'm gonna be changing this as well. I just haven't had a chance to do it yet um, because I like this format a lot better. So you'll notice to go back to the home page, I can click on the little home image or I can click on the, the title of the website that takes me to the same place. Uh, the image slider I've already discussed. There's space here for our sponsors. Spring Grove Battery, Eccentric Engineering, and Little Machine Shop are my three main sponsors right now. They are um, the biggest reason why this website has been able to remain free. So please um, give those businesses your support if you need any replacement uh, batteries for your uh, cordless devices like DeWalt drills for instance. Spring Grove Battery um, does a great job. Uh, they're very reasonably priced and of course if, uh, if you've been around metalworking for very long you, you know exactly who Little Machine Shop is. Eccentric Engineering um, makes uh, the diamond tool holder which is my favorite um, turning tool so uh, if you want to check out Eccentric Engineering um, uh, they would love your support. So. The uh, section here, this is also um, where I'm showing you guys my favorite magazines. Three of them, well actually there's four of them, uh, five total. Uh, the, they rotate in and out. Um, four of the five are metalworking magazines and the fifth one is this Make magazine which is a really fun magazine that, that has all kinds of um, non-metalworking related projects in it. Um, but a few metalworking projects as well. So anyway, these are my five favorite magazines. 
And uh, I actually have it set up so that if you click on these, you can order them through Amazon. And I've switched all of my magazine subscriptions over to Amazon because I find it a lot more convenient to renew my subscriptions. And if I change my address, I can change it in one place and it's just a lot easier. So as your magazine subscriptions start to expire, you might want to consider um, renewing them through Amazon. It's usually less expensive or at least no more expensive and it's much more convenient. So uh, back to the website. <coughs> There are the same sections like I used to have, lathe projects, mill projects, engines, shop tips, and videos. Um, there's also a second lathe projects that I'm experimenting with right now. This is, this is more similar to the way the website used to look where it was just all images and no text. The reason I don't think I'm going to go with this is because I can't actually click on lathe projects right here and, and see a list of lathe projects whereas if I go to this version of lathe projects and click on it it'll take me to a page that shows me um, all the lathe projects or all the projects that um, have a lathe turning component to them uh, or are somehow related to lathe work so there you can see that there are um, if I click on my little spotlight here there are 12 pages there's three posts per page so there's roughly between 30 and 36 or uh, 33 and 36 lathe project um, posts so now if I want to go back to the home page again I can just click on the home button and normally this is faster um, part of the reason I, I went through the upgrade process was to make it uh, load faster you know my original home page got so big that it was loading I don't know, uh, 75, 80 images because it was loading an image for every single post and every single post was visible on the home page. And now it's got five posts per category, so five images per category and one, two, I think five categories, three, four, five categories. So now it's down to 25 images. So a third of the images plus these images are quite small. So it should load a lot faster for you guys. That was one of the biggest reasons that I uh, went through the upgrade process. Um, the other things that you guys should be aware of, the search box works great, it's up here now. So if you, oops, that was weird. Wrong button. If you want to uh, search for anything on the website, you just click in this search box and if I wanted to look for taps, posts that had to do with taps, I could type taps in there. And you can see that it brings up a list of posts. Now some posts don't have a featured image, right? So this 10 plus Christmas gift idea, post doesn't have an image that is a featured image so um, that's what that that's why there's no image showing up and then this great deal on taps also doesn't have a featured image but you can see that there are three pages so somewhere between seven and nine posts um, that have to do specifically with taps and I can navigate to the next pages just by clicking on these numbers down here at the bottom so there's uh, four five and six and then seven so there's seven uh, posts that are, or are uh, tap related. So now if I want to go back to the home page I can by clicking on the home icon. And there is this subscription area here. This is the same subscription area that I've had for quite a while for Projects in Metal. It allows you to enter your email address and then you'll get an email whenever new content is posted to the website. I don't spam you guys. I actually limit the amount of content that I upload to the site intentionally. So if I have three or four things that I want to post to the website, I actually spread them out over the course of uh, at least a seven day interval. That way you're getting an email from me no more frequently than once a week. Um, and and to be quite honest, I've been so busy lately that um, the emails are far more infrequent than that, maybe a dozen or so emails a year that you'll get from me. So feel free to subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you use a feed reader, um, then you'll know what this RSS feed icon is and you can actually subscribe via RSS as well. If you don't know what a feed reader is, then don't worry about it. Um, down here at the bottom, and I'm going to move some of this stuff around because I'm not quite happy with the way this looks. You can subscribe to the same RSS feed I was just talking about by clicking on this button. You can also see my YouTube channel by clicking on this YouTube icon here and you can see that I've got 1300 subscribers, which I think is fascinating. I actually have more subscribers to my YouTube channel than I do uh, to my RSS feed and my YouTube channel is only like a year old. So um, that's kind of cool. You can also enter your email address here and then there's a there's a second type of YouTube subscription um, 
box right here and, and eventually I'll figure out which one of these I like better and, and get rid of the other one but they all do the same thing uh, you can log in down here if you're not logged in it'll show this little login uh, section in this area if you are logged in it'll show your gravatar if you have one if you don't have a gravatar um, a gravatar is a globally recognized avatar and um, you can go to gravatar.com, en.gravatar.com for the English version of Gravatar and sign up. It's free. All you do is enter your email address right here and um, it will let you um, sign up for a Gravatar account. So if you have a Gravatar, then your image will show up. And then if you want your, if you want to be social, you can edit your profile. And you do that by, once you've logged into the website, going to the dashboard here. And you won't see all of these options. You'll only see a few of these. I see more options because I'm the administrator. But if you go to the dashboard, you can input your Facebook URL, your Google Plus URL, your LinkedIn profile, your uh, YouTube URL if you have a YouTube channel. Uh, and then if you if you have a Pinterest account, you can put that up there as well. So if you want, <clears throat> if you want to be social and keep in touch with me, you can... Um, you know, friend me on Facebook, for example, uh, or connect to my Google Plus profile. But that's what that's for. <clears throat> you can see recent forum posts here, popular posts here. Now, this is posts with the most views. So it kind of makes sense that some of these posts are older. Um, these are all actually from 2009. But <clears throat> they are also the most popular posts on the website, um, either because of their simplicity or because they are unique. Like this rubber band gun is kind of a unique project. I get a lot of traffic from not necessarily meta working people but people that just like rubber band guns for some strange reason um so you can see popular posts there i'm going to be like i said changing this because i'm not quite happy with the layout of it but um that's what it looks like for now and <clears throat> the other thing i need to make sure that you guys are aware of this is a random article button if you click this it'll just take you to a random article on the website so uh i don't know how useful that is, but um, it's there if you want to use it. Let's go to the forum so that you know uh, that the forum hasn't really changed yet. That's both good and bad. I, I have noticed one interesting thing here. I have this extra drop-down list showing up that didn't show up on my development server, but it showed up when I went live. And so I haven't had a chance to really sort that out and figure out why that's showing up, but I'll, I'll try and figure that out over the next couple days. Um, but this is the, the same forum format that, that I've had since I started the forum back in 2010, I believe. So um, that's, like I said, both good and bad. A lot of people don't really like the, um, the forum because it's a little bit cumbersome. And so once I get the website totally ironed out, uh, the new theme, the new look and feel totally ironed out and things like this fixed, my next thing that I want to address is looking into different forum software that might be more... Um, user friendly and I also noticed just now that the hover state on links is actually white text so I'll have to change that because that is obviously going to be hard for people to read um, interesting all right so the forum though should function the same way that it always has um, one thing I did want to show you is if you wanted to go ahead and edit your profile you can do it from here as well so once you're logged in you can click on the profile button and then you can go to edit identities <clears throat> and this is where you would add your Facebook information or your LinkedIn profile or your YouTube channel or your Google Plus profile etc so if you have uh, AIM or Yahoo Instant Messenger or ICQ these are a little antiquated but um, some people still use them uh, Skype for example you can be as social as you want to be or as reclusive as you want to be obviously if you don't want people to be able to get in touch with you through the website then you probably shouldn't put this information in because what this actually does <clears throat> if I click on well, I'll just go to home oops forum actually and I go to one of my posts so if I go to general discussion and I replied to this post you can see that because I've entered in my Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Google Plus information that it actually shows up on the forum so that people can connect with me uh, if they want to. So again, feel free to be uh, a total recluse and not utilize this, but um, if you want to be more social, 
uh, with people on the website, you can. By the way, the other thing that I wanted to point out, people aren't really using this, and I'm not sure why, because maybe they just don't know that it, um, that it exists, but you can actually rate someone's post. So if, uh, if you thought Iron Ring's post was good, which it was, he was uh, really helpful in his post, you can rate it five stars. And what that does is it, it's kind of a silent way of giving um, a forum member a little bit of feedback. Hey, thanks a lot for your help. I really appreciate it. Or if the post is terrible, you can actually give it, you know, like one star. Although I don't really recommend that because it's kind of rude. Um, but I, I'd like to see people utilize this more of a, as a way of saying thanks than as a way of complaining. All right. So uh, anyway, just thought I'd let you know that that exists. And uh, the same footer information is on this page as well. Again, I'm going to be changing some of this, but that's the basic breakdown of what the site looks like now and how to get around. Again, you can navigate using these uh, drop-down lists or any of these nav main navigation links. Um, but to get back to the home page, you can click on the home icon or on the um, text here, which will eventually become a logo as soon as I either have time to drop a logo myself or uh, have someone else bestow me with a beautiful logo, which would be awesome. So anyway, if you have any questions, I'm going to post a link to the um, forum post that's going to be connected to this video, because uh, I know some people are going to see this video on YouTube and not from the main website itself. So if you have any questions or if you want to give feedback, I'd really appreciate your feedback. Um, good feedback, bad feedback. Oh, one other thing I wanted to point out. I'll go back to the forum here. <clears throat> but good or bad feedback, your feedback is really helpful because um, it helps me figure out what direction I need to take the website. So uh, one other thing I wanted to point out is if you, ha if you have trouble with your eyesight or maybe you have a huge monitor and, and, and text is actually too large on the screen, you can make the text smaller by clicking on the small a, so you can see how the text is getting smaller, or larger by clicking on the large a. And you can make the text actually quite big for people with um, you know, visual impairment or um, different sized monitors. Now, you can make it too big too, right? Now, now you can see the text is actually too big for the buttons. Uh, so I'm going to shrink it back down. That's normal is the middle button. Um, but you can make it you know, just a little bit bigger to make it easier to read. That only affects the text on the forum. It doesn't actually affect the text on um, <clears throat> the other posts. So you see if I go back here, the text here is still pretty small. Um, I'm going to look for a way to increase the text size here as well, but at least for the forum, which is where most of you guys spend your time communicating with each other, you can adjust the text size to suit your vision and your needs. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the, the text adjustment sticks, so if you log out of your browser and come back, uh, it'll still be the same text size, but it isn't, uh, it, it isn't smart enough to know if you go on a different computer um, that you want your text to be, you know, uh, slightly larger. So if you log in from your laptop um, and you haven't made your adjustment to your text on your laptop, it's not going to, it'll be back to the default size. So, and that's also true if you use a different browser to log into the website. So if you decide to make your text change, uh, make sure you use the same computer in the same browser when you come back. Otherwise your, your change won't be sticky, it won't stay. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a cold. So anyway, that's the update on the website. I hope you guys really like the the new layout, the new theme. I think it's a lot nicer. It's a lot more efficient. It loads faster. There's a lot of reasons that um, that this is going to be great moving forward. Uh, it's just going to take us a little while to get used to it. So again, if you have any questions or feedback, uh, please leave it on the forum, and I'll leave a link to that forum post in uh, the description of this video on YouTube, and then of course if you're seeing it on the website, you'll already know how to get to the forum. So thanks a lot. I, I couldn't, this site wouldn't be successful without you guys, so I really appreciate your your support and your patience, and um, it's been a lot of fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to another five years. Thanks a lot.